Dude, a shadow of a crow cast across my desk, and I deadass thought it was a spider. <laughs> I can't I'll mute myself again. I think I'll just keep mic on. I, I, I'm gonna try just starting soon screen with mic on. Am I gonna make a list of goals for 2023? Well, banging your mom was like number one for 2022 and I achieved that immediately. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I don't like have... I guess like my main goal, like my one goal is to launch an, a website for the art channel and like be able to start selling in like February or March, that's the goal. And then maybe if I earn enough or sell enough, I can like, during summertime, uh, what you call it? Like, you know how they have like farmer's markets and shit or like craft fairs, or maybe go to like an artist alley type thing, that'd be epic. Dude, what if I went to TwitchCon 2023 and sold my shit? Wouldn't that go crazy? Guys, I need to get clouded enough, that way I can have a booth at TwitchCon, okay? Oh, but how sick would that be, honestly? An alley? No, it's... You know when you... Okay, if I've never gone to a convention, like... Because at conventions, they have, like... A... A stage. Like, a stage, right? And then another room where they have booths where you can buy, like, merch and shit. And then another area... Typically, where you can buy like art and stuff. So, people sell prints, keychains, all that jazz. <laughs> I think you. An alley? Okay. <laughs> well, wow. <laughs> I need to organize all my art shit. Because when I was packing, I haven't unpacked all my art stuff, so, like, the pens that I need are at the bottom of a bag, so I have to dump out the whole bag. And I was gonna do this before stream, but I woke up late, so I have a minute 30 to get my pens. Why are you scared of Artist Alley? I think it's cool to look, but then I feel bad because you don't buy anything. Where's the Christmas music? It's not Christmas yet. When we do Christmas streams, I'll play Christmas Nintendo music. Jeez, I don't go live for Friday, Saturdays. Holy shit, four days! I wasn't live for four days, and you know one of my channels dead. <laughs> oh no. Do you do advent colors? When I, we did when I was little, but not anymore because I'm not a child. But I feel like it'd be fun, maybe next year. Because I wanted to do like something where I put an ornament on the tree every day, but then I forgot and I haven't moved the tree upstairs to my bedroom yet. Cringe. Death seconds! I would just open everything on the first day gig get chat, honestly. Okay, guys, guys, guys. You ready for the big reveal? You guys ready? I'm going to- I thought you said gambling convention, and I was like, whoa, kind of sus. Okay, guys. Whoa. Um, I decided if we're gonna do art on this channel, we're gonna use the art overlays, meaning no face cam today because I didn't have time to wash up and- <laughs> You can't really see my face when we do calligraphy anyway. So, honestly, no one boards it. Don't sad, guys. I, it's, I, it said it in my goal light notification, okay? 
Um, exclamation model in chat if you want more info. You have to watch seven ads. Yeah, because the way I do ads is I do three minutes at the start during the soon screen because there's no content anyway. And then every hour I have to run three minutes because how Twitch ads run is for every minute 30 you run, then you can have no pre-rolls. So it's either we do a minute 30 every 30 minutes or three minutes every hour. So, yeah, Sag. Twitch goes crazy with ads? Yeah. I was watching TV on my roommate's Twitch account on the TV in the living room and they don't have Prime. Or wait, they have, they give me their Prime, Lamo. <laughs> uh, you guys don't know who it is. They've never chatted before. They're, they're a lurker. Um, and they're only sub to me. So I, w I went to watch a song on the TV, and there were so many fucking ads! And he changed his ad density because he got a new contract, so now he has to run four minutes every hour. It's making me lose my mind. Uh, chatters, if you're watching Twitch on a budget, just get Twitch Turbo. It's pretty epic. You pay ten bucks, you get no ads on the whole platform. But you should still! Um, sub for who with Prime, see if you have Prime available, and um, sub to your favorite streamers. Oh, wait! Thank you for that gifted sub, Mac, to Luigi! Nice. Enjoy that gift of sub, huh? No more ads for you. Thank you, Mac. Love being a Prime. Yeah, Prime is epic. Hi, Hacker. Welcome in, hon. Um, Mac, since you gifted a sub, you are going to get your name written at the end of stream. So thank you, Mac. Can we get some wax and chat from Mac who gifted a sub? <laughs> PSI2 VTuber, yeah. We're only using the PNG model today because... I want, okay, I wanted to use the, um, HD cam for, like, look how, look how much nicer this looks than the USB camera. I feel like, you know, the calligraphy frogs will like this. Whoa, I just went to 12k bitrate, what the fuck? Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Whoa, what the fuck? I usually go 6k and it went to 12k, holy. <laughs> okay, so today... I'm real, look, I have hands. Today, the plan is simple. We're gonna do calligraphy. We only have like 10 names because my channel hasn't been growing much in the past few months, but that's fine. So we got 10 names. And then we have two sketch cards for the top gifters of November. We had Kobobo and Mac. So we're gonna get started on these today. First, we'll do calligraphy. That way we're not clickbaiting. <clears throat> okay. I just realized my camera's crooked, so this right here is straight for me, but this is straight for you guys. Uh, <laughs> awkward. Gifting goes crazy. Yeah, shoutouts to the gifters, honestly. If anybody else wants your own custom portrait card, all you need to do is gift five subs by the end of the month. Also, uh, you guys can't see it. Um, you can't see it? But anybody who gifts a sub, I'll put a present behind me. So I'll do the present tomorrow, Max, so it'll be on cam, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Luigi, you best be Max's biggest simp now, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, I was watching um, Jack Septic Eye play The Devil in Me, which is from the same studio that made Until Dawn. So I, I spent basically all of Friday watching his playthrough because it's like six hours of gameplay. Okay, my, my bottle's working. I just had to check really quick. Okay, no more stalling. Let's get to work. No more dilly-dallying. I'm also, I'm trying to save up for like an L-shaped desk. But, um, for right now, I ordered, like, a, a side table that I can use just for art. Because it has, like, shelves underneath, so I don't necessarily have to put my art supplies away, like, back in my closet. Because I haven't really, um, unpacked all of my art things. Because that was the only thing I didn't unpack. Because we were going to put... Because we have a garage. Base, uh, Chatters, if you don't know the lore, I moved about two weeks ago now so we're still like getting used to things that's also partially why i didn't stream the past few days because uh dude i was stressed out of my fucking mind okay uh 
But I'm fine though, I'm fine. <laughs> and my sister has been like pissing me off though, honestly, not gonna lie. But it's okay. Okay, I hate how the zoom is fucking up. Why is it doing that? Can you see how it looks like it's shaking? It's because of the light, I think. What did she do? Oh my god. So, since we have a duplex and we're renting out rooms, there's no like online portal to pay for rent, right? So, we essentially have to like send money to the landlord every month through like check, PayPal, or whatever the fuck. And I told my sister. I was like, since you're Miss Moneybags, you have to do it yourself. Like, you have to get that shit set up. So, December 1st comes around because we ha needed to have everything done and due by the 1st. Of course, she didn't get it set up in time. And thankfully, they're pretty chill. But still, she was trying to figure out how to get, like, PayPal and shit figured out. Like, December 1st in the evening time. And I'm like, bro. I spelled it wrong. It's supposed to be the creative gamer, but I put the creative gamer. <laughs> I can't. Wait, we didn't do prediction. Did I mess up? I already messed up. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I can't. On the mind, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so that fucking stressed me out. And shoutouts to my sister for being a fucking dumbass. Anyway. Ugh, now I need to draw the guidelines. Fuck, I forgot to prep. Guys, I'm a pro. Should I go pro type 1? And, like, thankfully, since we're renting out rooms, like, they're pretty lax, but still, I'm, like, sister favorite. My favorite sister. You realize, if this were an actual, like, apartment, they would've charged you, like, 50 bucks per day, fucking dumbass. Anyway. If they were in chat. <laughs> that your sis spends stuff, though? Yeah. Because, like, she has a really good job, okay? Like, a really good job. Like, she makes really good hourly, and there's, like, no punishment if she does overtime. So her checks are pretty- or her direct deposits, rather, are, like, really hefty. Because when we were buying- Oh, and you know what? She also- Because you know when they had the stimulus checks? And then they had, like, the little debit cards they sent out? So she never activated those stimulus debit cards and she found them when we were cleaning. So she's up 2k. Cause remember how like one card was worth like 1400 and then the next one was like 600? So she's up 2k. Lucky her. <laughs> Cause like my stimulus went to my savings which I've saved- which I've spent well now. So she's up 2k, so that's basically like covered all of our moving expenses that we had, so. Which is really nice that she found that card. Dude, I can't believe I messed up on the first name. Bob Watcher's in shamble. Why was she not activating anything? She was just lazy. So it's kind of good that it was still valid, because we got those cards like a year and a half ago, right? I thought they would have, like, not issued them. But you got mad at him? She got a PS5? Yeah, I know. I did get mad. I did get mad. But you know what? I can't get too mad at her. Because she's my favorite sister. Okay, why is the Zoom hating me today?
Maybe it's because, like, this light is too harsh on the left. And even though they sent cards, yeah, because they sent checks during um, Trump's presidency when they had the stimulus. And then during Biden's, they sent out cards. Okay, now it's really fucking dark. <clears throat> Tough competition for favorite sister. <laughs> well, I only got one, so she's both the winner and the loser, okay? <laughs> Am I unmuted? Yeah, I'm unmuted. I get scared sometimes that I forget to, like, mute again. Or, like, unmute. Is anybody excited for Wave 3 of Mario Kart tomorrow? Oh, talking about Mario Kart, we're going to be doing the Maggie Sports December um, tournament this Sunday. So the 11th. I'm going to post it on Twitter later today, probably. Because I didn't want to post it this morning because we already had the best of compilation up and then this tweet. So Wave 3 starts tomorrow and we're going to be doing the tournament on Sunday. So if you want updates, um, go follow my Twitter, everybody. potato welcome in hun wave three is tomorrow yeah i'm excited that's why we're doing mario kart tomorrow instead of today also no spoilers i have avoided all promotional art for wave three so i have no idea what courses are in it like anytime they showed it in a direct i clicked off and if I saw a YouTube thumbnail, I would quickly close my eyes, so I had no memory. Yeah, I edited the best of um, November compilation last night. So shoutouts to everybody who clipped. I'll show the little chart I made. So I keep track of everybody who makes clips during the month. So basically, um, any clips that I like that go into the comp, you get a point. So we had Kobobo, Luigi, Crystal, Wolf, and Hacker make clips last month. So I keep track of how many clips were made and then if you titled it or not. So as I talked about last week, oh, Kobobo had the most for November. They had eight. So whoever makes the best and most clips during December... Gets a Twitch gift card in January. People clap. Wow. So if you want a chance to get 25 bucks for Twitch to spend on your favorite streamer, which is obviously me, <laughs> watch the streams and clip them. Because, <laughs> like, the reason why I want to do gift cards for just um, clipping is because... If you make the clips, it actually helps the channel, and it helps, um, what you call it? Uh, fuck. It actually helps when I'm, when I'm editing. That way I don't have to go back and watch VODs in real time. I just realized I put a December clip into the November comp. <laughs> Shit, oopsie. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> cause I remember, cause I had a clip from the new stream setup, right? And I was like, oh, that's weird. I have to crop it different. But that's from December. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. I'm stressed. I was about to ask about that. Oopsie. 
expose me. I, I can't take the videos down because, like, platforms punish you in the algorithm wise if you take shit down. Oopsie! <laughs> what did you see about Marker? I wasn't listening. Um, watch back the VOD easy. Nah, wave three comes out tomorrow, so we're gonna be doing Mario Kart on stream tomorrow. Okay, am I gonna mess up the name this time? Here we go, the creative gamer. I did it correctly. I think the reason why the focus is bugging out is because there's so many things for it to focus on. Like see when I'm static, it's fine. But when I move, it glitches. Will you be playing Pikmin 4 when it comes out? Maybe. I haven't played a single Pikmin game, so I have no idea what the gameplay looks like. But it's kind of puzzle-like, right? seen much gameplay of pick media either so maybe i'll watch a video tonight and see if i like the vibes or not this cl top clipper also get vip yeah <clears throat> i'm not gonna give something to take it away you know yeah we had lovely froggy boy Don't like seeing them dead. Do the Pikmin die? Oh wait, is that a spoiler? Uh oh. Oopsie. Okay, we had Nash Games. Say gamer or gamer? It's with a Y. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's April. They're probably it's it's a funny name. Hi <laughs> Lemon, people. Hey, they're supposed to die in game. No way. Okay, that's kind of sad. That's actually kind of sad. Yeah, I was gonna say, Lemon did change their color again. People hey Lemon. I think it's so cute how everybody gets excited to see other chatters. It's honestly adorable. Is my model working? Yeah. Okay. Because you guys can see my math move. We had Nash Games. Talk 
talking about the monthly compilations, um, I did upload them to Twitter, IG, YouTube, and TikTok, so everybody go watch that video and go leave a comment of your favorite moment for November. Please. Hate Bad Boy Fall 99. That's page one done after I made a mistake. Also, if you follow the channel today, I'll write your name. Wowie. You need to sub to my YouTube? Exclamation YouTube in chat. Easy. Takes you right to it. Yeah, G on G Jib. This was one of the people on my team from the top three or the big three event. This was Gian. I like the cooking mama vod. It made me laugh. Yeah, I had some good jokes in that one. I had some bangers. Oh, I'm like, I have a list of my followers on my computer. And I'm squinting to look at the small names on screen. I just realized I can zoom. <laughs> Getting all the clubs for the tournament. <laughs> I got no collab. I think uh, the issue with like collab events is the only people who follow you typically are other creators. And that's fine. But it's like, that's not how you're supposed to grow your channel. That's not good for long term growth. Because, like, imagine, chatters, imagine if we only had streamers in my chat room. It'd be fucking annoying as fuck. Okay? Like, having a few a small handfuls is fine, but... If you only have creators watching you, then they're... You don't know if they're actually there for you. Or there just to, like, keep connections. Dude, so many of my pens are busted. I have one new set, though, so I can always swap them out today. <laughs> they might be there to steal ideas. Exactly! Exactly. What if there's any peace in certain YouTube fans? I think Luigi found me on YouTube initially. Along with a few other chatters. I think Bloody Goog as well. Every streamer comes to chat. No, that would be awkward. We have Maseratari. Tiari. That would be awkward. Because, like, I always feel kind of cringe whenever I talk about streaming. Because I'm scared that... Because, like... I did okay. Welcome in, hon. I'm doing pretty good. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Because, like, I know I have some kind of, like, unconventional based but real takes about streaming and i'm so scared that somebody's gonna come in and like not like me because of my takes but it's like they're controversial but true Okay, we had Jojo Garks. We have two more names. Final two. Final two. Also, we are 30 minutes into stream. So it's time for me to tell you guys to um, follow the stream if you're not following. If you follow today, I'll write your name. Wowie. And if you're already following, make sure you have goal like notifications turned on. That way you get a ping for when I go live. 
only 60% of you guys have notifications turned on. I want to see that up to 100% today. Okay? 100% of you guys need to have notifications turned on. <laughs> I don't think anyone has yellow. Yeah, we don't have any yellow chatters. Why are you saying no? Why are you saying no? New PB, yeah. <laughs> well, I only had like 10 names today because I kind of fell off, so. I don't care. Because, like, it kind of makes sense that my peak was during summertime because that's when, like, more people are home. That's when a lot of people don't have skew. But, you know, as long as I have people who watch the streams, I'll be happy. Because it's all about having fun. Notifications are stressful. Yeah, I know for me personally for twitch. I only have notifications on for like five people Wait, let me think I've on for for Hassan kitty Cinderella Emmy beef rainy day games cutie Lee uh, Connor eats pants And I think that's it because those are the streams that I actually watch and those are also streamers that don't make YouTube highlight videos I mean, Hassan makes highlight videos, but he streams for like eight fucking hours, so can't condense eight hours into a thirty-minute video usually. We had Neon Leon one one two. You get email notifications, bro. Turn that shit off, <laughs> bro. Turn email notifications on. Have push notifications. You have notifications on for everyone you follow, dude. You're crazy. How many people do you follow then? Cause that would get over over out. Because I think, because, okay, okay. I follow some bigger streamers that I don't necessarily like chat or watch all the time because I like to have a long follow age. Like, for example, if, um, like, if I say a joke and it doesn't land, because immediately when you say something sus, you, the streamer or the mods look at, like, how long you've been following, how long you've been sub for. So if they see that, like, you're following for longer, and you say something that's kind of skirting the line, they're like, oh, this person's been following for this long. They've been in the community for this long. So they're probably fine. Oh, my channel actually comes up when you type in the username? That's really good. That's actually really good. Because for the longest time, my channel didn't come up when you typed in my user. I think it's because YouTube doesn't really push channels that have low subscriber count. That's good. Yeah, the Hypnotize song was fun. <laughs> I was re-watching back the clip and like some of the parts are pitchy, but I like that song a lot. <laughs> Meg is a sus chatter. I'm not. I'm not. It's just like, what, what if like I say a joke that doesn't really land? Because I remember the only time I can really think that I could have gotten clapped or banned is... um. I think it was Mizkif. This was like last year. This was when lockdowns were first being lifted along with like people were going to like parties and shit again. And like, I think he was saying something along the lines of, he's like, oh, you know, COVID don't really matter. You know, it's fine if we go out and party and shit, right? And then I said something like, oh, you know, but not everybody, only like 60% of America is vaccinated. So it's not necessarily as safe. So, after I typed in the chat, I was like, oh, I'm being a contrarian right now. Because, like, I feel like Ms. Kip's chat is, like, center, center left. But still, he got some right heads in his chat. I don't know. We have who else but Josh. Guys, that is the last name of the day. We are done with all the followers from the month of November. Let's fucking go. Easy clap. Okay, let's go through and look. Basically, I have one page. Feel free to screenshot. These will also be posted on Twitter. Okay, I hate how the focus is shifting.
Very nice. Very nice. So we'll continue this next month. <laughs> Who else would be last but Josh? Do you have a vendetta against Josh? 36 new PB? I mean, if I didn't have to rewrite the page, I would it would have been like 15 minutes, honestly. But yeah, it's fine. You know what? It, you know what? I say that a lot. <laughs> okay. So now we get to move on to... Why... Is there a way for me to, like, stop autofocus? Wait, hold. I probably actually can. Let me see if I can disable the autofocus. Hold. Everybody, hold. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, you can. I just you always leave autofocus on. Focus mode, continuous autofocus, automatic, single shot. Let's try automatic. Fuck. It doesn't work. Shoot mood shutter priority. I'm figuring out. I know in OBS you can't. Well, I'm using a DSLR, so I don't have, like, the actual camera plugged in. It's the capture card plugged into the computer. So I wouldn't be able to do it through OBS. Shoot mode, shoot mode. figure this off stream it's fine it's fine that's fine <laughs> it's okay if the focus is wonky i'll fix it tomorrow or wait wait i just realized that's only really an issue when we do like pov cameras so when we do art i should be able to do an art stream on friday guys go follow the art channel um we're so close to affiliate we just need 10 followers um i'll figure out the autofocus issue or how to, it's not an issue, but I'll figure it out. Okay. Now, let's change our title mods. We're farming today. <laughs> now? No, I'm not going to do it. It's gonna take me like 15 minutes to figure it out, probably. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, today. We finished our follower calligraphy journal. Let's go now. We're gonna draw portrait cards. So anybody who gifted five subs during the month of November gets a custom portrait card drawn today. So we had Kobobo and Mac. I think... I wanna do Max first, because... Also, can I just say, guys, send me different fucking pictures. You guys send me, like, the same goddamn pose. I said that last month, and I got the same shit. Anyway, it's okay. I get it. I use the same floating head pose, too. <laughs> so, I think for this one, I want to make Max card kind of look like, um, I have a whole stack. I want their card to kind of look like this. Because Mac was wearing, like, a red sweater. I want the hair to be like this card. Kind of geometric and blocky-like. You want a full body? Why not? That would go crazy. So, I think that's the look I'll go for it. Because we'll do black and whites. Mac has brown eyes. So this is the inspo in terms of color and style for this card. Do a barrel roll. I 
need to get some loose leaf paper. Oh, I can use this. Because my table's already kind of dirty. <laughs> goofy hair? <laughs> no, that's not goofy. <laughs> Bro, my hair's just like Max, but Max is... Max's hair is so much better than mine, I'm jealous. Okay. Now, I'm not using the pens I typically use. Or just frown in the photo. I mean, that would go crazy. Let's see, I'm looking for... A point five pen. These are my new microns. I haven't like opened them yet. Fresh pen. Point. Is this the point five one. <laughs> Megan said no. Yeah, I hate teeth, guys. I hate teeth. <laughs> yeah, it's good to ink and. Oh, this one? You think they got goofy hair? I used Hassan as a reference, but it literally looks nothing like him. <laughs> looks nothing like him. My mom used to style my hair with a pound of gel. Oh my god. You must have looked cool though, right? Okay, so you guys can't necessarily see, but for the lines, I'm putting like dots at the end to kind of taper it a little bit. Yeah, I think gel will not feel good. No, I know Max said they personally like more stylized portraits. Oh, I made your eyelash way too long. <laughs> Oopsie! So I'm gonna give them, like, more hooded eye. Dude, it's way too thick. It's- I fucked up. I messed up. Got a haircut? Did you shave the back a little bit? Or what'd you get? Dude, that eye is like perfect, but I fucked that one off. I fucked that one off. <laughs> I fucked it up. <laughs> Would recommend eating gel slash J slash S R S. <laughs> Damn it. I... Guys, is this card worth 25 bucks? Type one. I think Mac is, like, the only chatter who's gotten a card every single month. <laughs> of course you guys type one. I hope you guys would type one. I feel bad, because I'm like, what if a card is really bad? Okay, not that it would be bad bad, but what if it's not to, like, someone's expectations, and then they get sad? I don't want to make people sad. I have a collection growing. Yeah, I think today... I'll put the cards on the sleeve so we can look through all the cards that we made so far. Since stream isn't going to be that long, since we only got two cards. Because I have a book of sketch cards that I've made, right? So I think I'll put a page just for the portrait cards instead of just having them loose on my dresser. Oh, the lips came out nice. Uh, 
Aw, that's actually pretty cool, Luigi. Like, using it twice, double dipping. Honestly, big brain move. Because it's like a red suit, right? Like an actual suit. <laughs> Just lemon and hack your RP. <laughs> You already shocked by your card? I think yours is gonna look really cute this month because uh, Kobobo, or is it? They had a Care Bear sweater. So I kind of want to do like. You guys will see, you'll see. If you want to see what I do, um, watch the stream easy and follow and turn notifications on. <laughs> is my vanity meme finished? Uh, no. Because since you technically gifted in December, your card gets drawn in January, Sag. But welcome in, Titans. You should send me, like, an actual nice picture, Titans. Like, you always send me meme shit, and it's like, just send a nice one. Okay, now for the scary part. We're gonna do the hair. What music is this? Oh, I had autoplay on. That's really bad. Wait, autoplay is off? What? Huh? The fuck? Because, like, the issue is sometimes, like, Nintendo music gets claimed anyway. It's bullshit. Why was autoplay on? Uh, let's do Pokemon music. Should I get the new Pokemon? Type 1. And when I say, should I get it, it'll be like in January. Because, like, I kind of play it offline. I don't know if I want it to be a stream game. I do. <laughs> Why should I not get Pokemon? Oh, no. <laughs> it's an unfinished game, true. Hmm. I think I'll go in with a fine liner and then go in and thicken certain lines. Oh yeah, Mac, you said you're getting the game for Christmas, right? No spoilers, guys, no spoilers. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to do this shit. Cause like, see how I did like wider plumes of hair? I kinda like that a lot. Hmm. Okay, let's do these smaller strands first. That's kind of cool. They look like lightning almost. It's better to play handheld? Really? That's horrible. You already have 120 hours in Violet? Hacker, what, what are you doing? <laughs> How many hours do you play a day then? Holy... Okay, that looks kind of cool, like the bangs like that. Okay, so I think the bangs right here are gonna be like shorter, and then the backs will be larger plumes. You play everything handheld? Really? Really? I don't mind handheld, but I, I like playing docked more. Because then I can use like headsets. But I figured out how to connect my um, Raycon headphones to my TV. So, oh my god, last night. I fell asleep with my headphones on and I work with like the worst cramp in my neck. It was bad. This is gonna look cool. Mac kinda looks like a villain almost with like wild hair. I need to get my water. I haven't drunk water this whole stream. That's actually bad. Well, you guys are popping off in the chat, holy. Stream every four days, so you guys are this chatty. 
<laughs> Switch is Bluetooth, but I can't get it to connect because I'm dumb. D U M, not dumb. <laughs> not that. <laughs> I mean, absence does make the heart grow fonder, right? to go. Okay, bye, Lemon. People, bye. Thank you for hanging out today. We'll see you later, hon. Oh, oh, no. There you go, I kind of fixed it. We'll just make Max chin thick. The line. <laughs> Mac looks like they're from a M64 game. <laughs> we'll just say it's the style, okay? It's odd, say. That you're so much better at Galaxy than Super Mario Bros. <laughs> I think it's because with 3D, it's easier for me to visualize shit. And also, just Galaxy or New Super Mario Bros. This the stupid slide. How when you land, you still kind of like glide a little on the ground. It's actual bullshit. Okay. Okay. It's not me. It's the game. No Wi-Fi in Student Center, Sag. Oh, me and my friend, we made homemade eggnog. Um, what was it, Saturday? Because now that... We have our own place. I can have friends over whenever the fuck I want. Like, I don't gotta worry about what my parents will say. So, they came over and we made eggnog. And, did you chug it? No. It wasn't bad, but, cause like, I was making pasta and then they were making the eggnog. And they misread the recipe. Instead of putting one tablespoon of spices, they put in three. So... <laughs> It was really spicy. <laughs> oh, wait, I need to look at my reference picture. Where's my phone? So, like, it was really thick. Because, like, all the spices, even though they're ground, they kind of, like, congealed together. So it was really thick. It was clumpy, but it's fine. We had to dilute it a little bit. But they kept on beating themselves up. They're like, oh, I'm so stupid. I was like, no, it's fine. Like, it's fine. Was it good? Yeah, it was right. Um, so how you make it is you heat milk. And then you pour the heated milk. You whisk it slowly into egg yolks. And then you boil that over heat to kind of like... 
pasteurize it, and then you add the spices. It's pretty good. Like, it wasn't that hard. It's just they, they messed up reading the ratios. <laughs> that sounds so gross, dude. Ice cream is made from eggs, Jackass. If you like ice cream, then you like eggs. <laughs> so Max wearing a crystal on their neck. <laughs> Jokes. I can't make jokes. <laughs> Remembers the joke about Crystal? <laughs> I wanted okay because like I don't message people outside of stream because I've talked about it before but I don't think it's necessarily appropriate unless you have like some sort of like agreement like if for example if like they're a mod or if they're doing some type of work for you so I don't auto message people outside of like just the pictures and I was using all of my strength not to make a crystal joke like all of my willpower went into keeping professional okay Teardrop. <laughs> Low <Lomo. laughs> Maggie, you, you do not know how hard I was trying, okay? there for the crystal joke good <laughs> it's it's like a it's skirting the lines of pg-13 joke so I'm glad you weren't there hon if you know you know also i'm not drawing the hand because the way that mac had the hand in the picture it, okay uh oh, you guys can't really see but it was it was like fucking weird because like their thumb was super long like, the way it was angled, the thumb almost looked as long as the pointer finger. I gotta power it up. Yeah, wait, Jatters! You know what else I have to power up? The urge to run some ads. Because, guys, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag... Sub for free with Prime. Any Primers? Mod check? Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. 8 out of 10? Holy. Was that actually good? Okay. After the ad, we're gonna keep drawing. Because we got two cards to do today. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Easy. And I guess I'm gonna get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Yeah, that's like the glory of watching back VODs. Um... Because you get to see moments that you don't necessarily remember, but when you watch it again, you kind of like relive that moment, right? What's that supposed to mean? Because... <laughs> you know why. <laughs> you know why. I, I, forgot, I almost forgot the address. I think I drew Max nose really well. I think the shape is good. Anyway, back to inking. I think I'm gonna fill in their eyebrows black. It's not necessarily accurate, but it's gonna match the style, okay? Um, if we hit our sub goal today, I'll do a bonus subscriber only cult of the lamb tomorrow. I can't do it today because I gotta make dinner. Because I, I explained it before, but for meal prep, I essentially cook every other day. Ooh, those eyebrows look sick.
This picture makes you look really masked, Mac. That's good, right? Yeah, I think tonight, I, it's called Grammy's Chicken, no grandma, um, but it's basically chicken breast with shoyu, soy sauce, uh, ketchup. I just realized I don't have ginger. I don't have ginger powder either. Fuck. Oh, it's uh, ketchup, shoyu, ginger, oyster sauce, um, and garlic. And you basically put it in the oven. It's really good. Good erasers are hard to find. I know. I I haven't unpacked my art stuff yet, so it's probably in one of my bags. Oyster. Yeah, it's it's like a. It's like this thick brown sauce. It's kind of like. It kind of tastes like thick soy sauce, but kind of more funky. Okay, let's start inking. I gotta draw the lines in. I just look really good. Ketchup hater? What? Do you guys not like ketchup? Like, genuinely? No way. Ketchup is so fucking good. I think this is the best I've drawn Mac's face. This actually kind of looks like them. Even though it's kind of stylized, it does look like them. Did your mom end up giving you her art supplies? Well, you don't necessarily have- Oh, I was talking about it earlier. Uh... <laughs> Hi, Coots! Welcome in! Ketchup is nasty? Dude, why are there so much fucking ketchup haters? Bro. Welcome in, Cokes. Dude, what the fuck? <clears throat> uh, okay, I'm gonna thicken some of these lines. I think I'm gonna thicken in these big ones and then go into the smaller, thinner lines. Oh yeah, as I was saying. Because we were gonna put all of the art supplies into the garage, but it's kind of like too cold. And like... Because it's like a garage that has like the car door in it, right? And this is obviously something that'll need to be fixed, but it's not fully sealed to the ground. So sometimes water leaks in when it rains. So I don't want to put art supplies somewhere if it's going to be damp. So hopefully, that'll get fixed soon. Cause like, the only supplies that I really want that she has is like glitter. And some paints. Cause she has like a bunch of Mod Podge. Cause Mod Podge is expensive, guys. See, okay. Do you guys see the difference where I thickened the bottom lines here? You can see the difference, yeah? Cause it makes it look heavier on the bottom. Has been nice at the new place, yeah. It's been pretty chill. It's nice because, like, it's near a commerce area. So all the shops and grocery stores are pretty close. And, like, the bus routes are better than at my old town. So they run more often, there's more routes. So I don't necessarily have to wait at a bus stop for an hour to get back home.
Okay. I think now I'll add the tiny lines. So since I used my 01 micron for the base lines, I'll use my 005 liner. It looks so good. Thank you. First I thought the hair was crystals. See, that's what I was kind of thinking about doing too. But I think in order... <laughs> In order to get like a crystal look, because you know how they have like prisms? Where they kind of go like this, right? Because that's how they get the shine. Because like, it's all the different light refractions from all the different cuts, right? So... I don't really know how I could do with the hair. I could do like... If that's a plume. I could do like... Shapes like that, but then to me it would kind of look more like snake skin. So it wouldn't really fit. It'd be a bit too much. It would look cool because like I would love to do full size portraits. Like um, once I open up the art website, I'll probably like open commissions for portraits and just do stylized portraits. I think that'd be fun. Like do like geometric or abstract portraits. I think that would look cool. But a concern I have about doing commissions is that I want to have full liberty. I want to have full freedom when I do it. Because an issue you have with commissions is that a lot of people don't know what they want. And also, like, they might not like your ideas. And I think art is about, like, making what you want to make. Like, it's different if you're working for a company or a design studio. But if you're doing work for yourself, like, you have to make stuff that'll make you happy. Just make them send you a picture and that's it. That's kind of what I want to do. Like, see where the work takes me. I think that'd be fun. Or like clarify there's no request they can make, yeah. I would I would obviously have to like be very clear with how it'll work. And I don't know if anyone would really sell. Unless they already know my vibe, I guess. Okay, so right now I'm gonna thicken the outlines of these jagged bangs just to make them stand out a bit more. Oh, look how much better that looks now. Because, like, I can understand why people want a realistic portrait. But anybody can do realism. Like, why not get a piece from somebody and have it stylized it how they want it? Because that's what makes artists unique. Six courses doesn't feel right. I know. 
Like, why not just make it a big hondo? Having a picture of me hung on the wall sounds so egotistical. I mean, but then people would know it's year run, right? I don't think I could ever hang up a self portrait. Because then people coming in my room would be like, oh. You're that self absorbed? Interesting. Max hair looks really cool in this. Yeah, like a wedding photo. That would be cute. But guys, I'm on my incel arc, so that's never happening. Never, ever. Maybe I want to film the bangs of black. Because they don't really stand out a lot. But once I fill it in, I can't unfill it. Maybe I'll just do the lines super close together. That way it's basically black. Single for forever? I don't know. Maybe one day it'll happen. And even if I did have a partner, I wouldn't tell you guys. <laughs> I got it. I think it's like, if you have any form of online presence, obviously people will speculate, but you want to respect the privacy of your partner. Because just because they're dating you doesn't mean they necessarily would want to be in like the spotlight too. can marry yourself easy then I won't have to split any money if we divorce right oh I switched pens why did I switch pens yeah I like the bangs filled in more I think I'll have to darken this part too there we go that looks better now It'd be odd dating a public figure. I agree. Because I think the reason why people date a lot in their industry, like celebrities dating celebrities, is because they're the only ones who can really empathize with you. In the sense of you don't know people's true intentions if there's like money or fame on the line, right? And I'm not saying that you should be like cynical and doubt any partner you have, it's just something you have to keep in mind. And not like I have any fucking clout. My non-existent clout. But... A, a thing that I'm trying to keep in mind is like reputation. And I think in order to like have a partner and treat them with like the most amount of like respect is being able to like figure out yourself before pursuing anyone you know
Because you don't want to hurt them. Because you're struggling, I guess. You know the cliche, and if I did have a partner, I don't think I'd ever talk about it publicly. Because obviously to respect their privacy. And I think it's so sad when you see like a couple break up. It's so sad. And like, the thing with online relationships is that you never know what's going on fully behind closed doors, right? Like, no matter how much you think you know somebody, you never know what's going on in the background. Okay, let's see. I think that's good for the hair, yeah? I didn't have my mechanical pencil today because it was still packed, and this graphite pencil, this is a... 6B. So if anybody knows things about pencils, so the higher the number B, the darker the lead. So it's harder to erase, but it's softer. <laughs> so there's some pencil streaks still on here, but it's fine. We'll cover them up. Okay. I think now we'll color in. I just need red. This actually... I need to see if I have another number one for calligraphy. Dude, my bed is a mess. I dumped up... <laughs> I dumped up all my art supplies onto my bed. It's a mess. I think I only have one more red pen left. I'm breaking open a new... Pen set now. No! Shit. I don't have another red. Mm. Damn it. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Not ideal, though. Now, oh, the number two will work. I'll have to get a new set. Because I go through the red a lot. Sag. I'm gonna go home cry dad. Okay, so since this piece is just gonna be red and black, I think instead of doing a solid white background, we'll do something like this one. so weird hearing you from a distance, but still seeing your PNG. <laughs> I mean, that's the glory of it, right? Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, this red is slightly darker than the number one. These are Cali Art Pens, exclamation pens, if you want to get links to buy them yourself. Hashtag not sponsored. Dude. I know I said before I probably wouldn't take any sponsors, but if I had a pen sponsor, dude. That'd be so perfect, wouldn't it? 
That'd be so perfect, wouldn't it be? Ooh, like Christmas almost. The red. Would Mac get mad if I colored in their lips red? Mac, would you get mad? Tell me now or forever hold your peace. Yes, okay, I won't do it. <laughs> but it match. You don't like makeup? Me neither. Me neither. Okay. It's fine, I can respect it. You can do pink? But it wouldn't match. It's fine, we'll leave it as is. Okay, I'm gonna thicken the outline of the hair. Because I colored outside the lines a little bit, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like medium on the top, but super thick on the bottom. Basically gonna double the width. My skin would be sensitive to makeup, so I'd probably have to try a whole bunch of different products, and that just seems stressful to me. And I don't like the idea of, like, having to spend so much time getting ready just to be, like, quote-unquote presentable. Because since society hates women, there's an expectation that you have to look dolled up. And I don't like that. That's why, like, if I never wear makeup, then nobody will know what I look like with makeup. Right? Easy. Oh, that looks so much cooler with a thick outline. I'm debating if I want to do a black or red border. I think black would look cool. Because I can do a black border. And then like a red inner. And then a pat. I'll do that. It's my Sharpie. I need to find my regular Sharpie. Yeah, so since the garage leaks a little bit, I probably have to keep all my art supplies in my room. Which is doable, but not ideal. Oh, I just realized my Sharpie's downstairs. The music just stopped for a bit. Um, it could be because we're dropping frames. So it's fine, it's back. Don't worry. Hmm. Oh wait, I see it. I, I found my Sharpie. No, I have like a thousand drop frames so far today, so internet is good, but not perfect. I keep it sharpie in the kitchen. Anybody who's worked food, you know how you're supposed to label when you open the product or like whoever opened it, right? Um, so in my kitchen, I mean our kitchen, but it's basically my kitchen because I do all the cooking. Um, I will label, like I open the milk on 12-2, so I'll write 12-2 on the cap. I know it's like super, uh, what's a good way of saying it? Like aggro to do that, but it's like I'd rather know when I opened it. Cause I know in our fridge at home, there's sauces from like four years ago. Ooh, look at that line, holy. Dude, that's like perfect. Should I go pro? I have to thicken it a little bit, actually. Isn't that ex expiration dates? Yeah. But still. Um, once you open it, it breaks the vacuum seal right so the bacteria can still go in. It's kind of like if you open a, a container of cream cheese. 
it's probably only really good for two weeks after that, because once the oxygen gets in, that's all bacteria can get in and fester and grow. So even if it's good for two months, like unopened, it's not doesn't mean it'll be good in your fridge for two months. That looks so cool. Yeah, I'll show you guys what I mean when we do cooking streams. That's why leftovers scare me. Yes. So whenever you have leftovers, or if you get takeout, um, what I would recommend doing is put your takeout into a vacuum sealed container or a airtight container, so like a Tupperware or a mason jar, and make sure it's fully sealed. That way, because like if you get a takeout box, right, like the lobster lids, where like the bottom tucks into the little tabbies. Air can still get in, so even if you keep your veggies separated from your meats on the shelves, the the bacteria still flows in the air within the fridge. So if it's not sealed, then it can still get in. Yeah, exactly, Mac, you're right. It's just a sell-by date. Like, it's different if it's like a processed food, like a can, like if you open it, if, if you don't open it, it's fine, but once you open the seal, that's all bacteria you can get in. Okay, let's do the background now. Hmm. I think I want to do this pattern, actually. I like the triangles. Maybe diamonds? To match the crystal? I'll do diamonds. Okay, if I'm gonna do diamonds, I have to draw guidelines. Sweater decorating stream? Type 1. Because I, I want to make a sweater that looks good. I don't want to make an ugly sweater. 1. Okay. Because, <laughs> like, I can always go to Goodwill and get, like, a plain sweater, right? But I want to make it look cool. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to do this. Ugly Christmas sweaters are aesthetic though, but then I wouldn't wear it. And I feel bad. Ooh, I can do the chevron? Okay. Do you know the chevrons that are like this? Like an actual chevron? Because the chevron is an arrow shape. That goes in a direction like that. But I can make an implied chevron shape by using diamonds together. You could- yeah, I could wear it, but I don't want to look like a fucking psycho. <laughs> you know, I gotta have some standards. See, look, there's an implied chevron now. Very nice. A 
That's super cool. Thank you. I try. What would you use to decorate the sweater? Hmm. I'd have to think. Because I can either, like, tape things on, that way I can still wear the sweater. Or I could, like, paint it. Because I do have fabric paint. But the thing with sweaters, since they have that kind of, like, texture, the paint won't bind to it as well. So it'll, like, wash off, or you need to put, like, layer after layer. That's kind of why I didn't put sweater on the list right away for Christmas streams, because I want it to, like, actually look good and usable. Because I think it's fine to do gimmicky streams and, like, do things to, like, be funny or, like, to throw away, but I still feel bad if it's, like, doesn't have some use to it, you know? That sounds tricky, yeah. I, I mean, I got a bit to think about it, so. I think it's also, I'm a crafter. So, I, like, appreciate everything that has utility. And also, I see things through a different lens. Because I don't want to make anything that looks bad. <sighs> Whenever there is food waste in a video, it gets sad. Me too. Oh my god, this is something I forgot to say. So we're making eggnog, right? My friend had to separate the whites from the yolks. And we went to the store before, and they were like, oh, I'll buy it as an egg, so that way I don't use your guys' eggs. And I was like, no, it's fine. And they were like, no, I'll just buy a dozen, it's fine. Because the recipe needed six, right? Um, so, they've never separated egg, egg yolks from whites. So they, they were struggling. They were struggling, okay? Um... And... They were like, oh, I'll just separate the whites from the yolks using a strainer. Like, you know, like the wire mesh strainers. And I was like, okay, go for it. And they were just, they were starting to strain it over the sink. I was like, dude, what are you doing? I was like, bro. You're literally throwing away the whites. And they were like, why do you want to keep the egg whites? I was like, well, you can still eat them. Granted, they're not as full of protein, but you can still eat them. Like, they, when you go to the shop, they sell gallons of egg whites. Or containers of egg whites, because people who die and stuff will sometimes use egg whites instead. And when I was making the pasta, um... So, okay, do you guys know what a turner is? So a turner is a spatula that's like this. Or, no. Yeah. And then it's usually rubber, that way you can use it to scrape the sides of your bowl or container. And they looked over at me, and I was using a turner to, like, scrape every last bit of sauce out of the can. And they were like, what are you doing? And I was like, dude, that's like a whole teaspoon left in the can. And they were like, it's just a teaspoon. And I'm like, yeah, but when you're broke, bitch, you gotta keep every little drop. I don't know, I hate wasting food. I think it's because, like, when you grow up poor, you feel like you need to eat or use everything, right? Something that I am kind of struggling with now that, like, I have my own kitchen space, 
is that I'm not necessarily snacking more. Because, like, I'm snacking on healthier things. And, like, I have meal prep, so, like, I have prepped containers of food with, like, pre-portioned shit. But what is nice is since this duplex is two-story, in order for me to go to the kitchen, I have to walk downstairs. Um, so instead of, like, having snacks in my room or having the kitchen be in the next room, I have to, like, physically walk downstairs to get food, right? So now, if I get, if I get like, hungrier or get a craving throughout the day, I'm like, oh. I don't want to go downstairs. And then I don't get a snack. Easy. Guaranteed, keep in mind, keep in mind, I'm not like starving myself, I'm still eating my three meals every day. It's just, I'm trying to break the habit of like binge eating, because um, one of the questions my doctors will ask me, they're like, oh, are you overeating or undereating? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> overeating. <laughs> and they're like, okay. Does this what Max look like? Yeah, that's Mac. Welcome in, Ethan. Hope you're doing well today, huh? So, anyway. And... So yeah, I'm snacking less because it's a hassle to go up and down the stairs. And it's also so frustrating because like I'll go downstairs to get something and then I don't get it so then I gotta go back up the stairs or down the stairs. Uh, I've never lived in a house that does have two stories. So I know it seems silly to complain about it, but it's just something that I didn't, I guess, understand. Until now. Because I've lived in that family home for my whole life, basically. Binge eating is fun and tasty. Exactly. Exactly. Mac is too many syllables compared to Mac. All the same kind. Wait, we're an hour 40 into stream. Um, it's time to tell for me to tell you guys, hey, you should follow the stream if you're new here. If you're lurking, follow. If you follow, I'll write your name. And if you are following, make sure you have going notifications turned on. Only 60% of you guys have notifications turned on, so turn them on, motherfuckers. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. I think this is good. I know it's like, oh shit. It's like one of the more simpler cards for mac but it looks nice right what do you guys think should i keep going or should i stop here i kind of like it like this oh wait I'll, I'll fill in mac's eyes i'll fill in their eyes maybe their lips too like a soft pink I think a soft pink look pretty. Do you color skin? Are you worried? I'm worried. I'm worried. I mean, it's just kind of like the style I do, and it is a concern because you know I don't want to just draw like fair skin. But, I think it's better to leave it blank for my style, because it would just be a solid fill. I don't know how to fucking shade. I mean, I can, but I hate it. So, one day we'll get fully rendered shading. But it's harder to do with, like, color pencil or pen unless you know how to use the material. Yeah, the music is cutting in and out, huh? That is weird. This is cutting out for me, too. It could be a processor issue. Hmm. I don't have too many tabs open. Maybe I need to update my computer. I forgot to check that. Let's use the 94.
There we go. That looks much better now. I feel like this is good. I could color in the hair, but I kind of like the black and white aesthetic. Also, do you guys like this camera better than the USB one? Like, for this type of stream? Because now we're getting, like, high res, right? I think this is better. Even if there's no, like, face cam, I think this is more... Not more. It's, like... It make It's, like, it's showcasing the actual work more, you know? Very nice. You can't tell the difference? You're lying. Thank you for sure. Once again, thank you, Mac, for gifting five subs last month. Thank you, Mac. Oh, I used a new number two. Shit. Okay, next card. Next, we're gonna do Cobalt. If you want me to make you a card, all you gotta do is gift five subs and we'll draw your card in January. Right now, we have Titans, who is eligible for a sketch card for December. Any Oilers? I'd have to see a side by side shirt. It's very subtle. But, um, this one is, like, pure HD. When, so, like, this camera is 1080p, right? But the other USB camera is, like, 720p. So it's still HD, but it's not as clear as a 1080p camera. Okay. Let's get started. So for this one, Kobobo was wearing, like, a tie-dye Care Bear sweater. So, let's look at my other cards. And some of the past few months cards are really cool. I'm, I'm just, I'm like looking through them. Like the past portrait cards. Some of them are really nice. I think Emmy's from last month, this one. I think these two have to be my favorite still. Like Col Coax's and then Emmy's. Those came out really good. Okay. I don't really have any ref for this one. Oh, really, Kobo? Well, that's interesting. I mean, whenever you're getting new prescription, I feel like there's always, like, super subtle differences, but they're probably, like, ne ne negligible. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to color this. Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. Because the plan is, we're going to do blue sweater, yellow star turns into the border, so yellow border, and then in the background we're going to do like little light blue doodles. Because you know how different characters have different symbols on their bellies? Have you ever worn contacts? No. I tried, and I literally could not get them in my eyes. Okay, let's go in with our number one liner. Oh, I need my gray sharpie for their glasses. Don't it. Damn, it's not in this bag. It appears I have lost, or I didn't unpack my gray Sharpie. Oh wait, these poly arts are double tip because they have a brush and a fine liner. I forgot. I 
I'm just clueless. Also, do you guys enjoy the Christmas emotes? We have Christmas versions of all your favorite seven TV emotes. There's also some exclusive winter ones. There's Peepo Snow, Peepo Cookies. Peepo Sleigh. You still haven't seen them. Well, if you're watching on mobile, you can see them on screen, I guess. But it's kind of tiny. I think the Christmas ones are the best ones. Okay. This pen... Not sponsored, but for Wings Financial is literally the best pen I've ever had. I've had this for 10 years, and it literally hasn't died. Because you know when you have some ballpoint pens and they don't glide? Or if they glide too easy? I like a pen where you have to put like a little bit of pressure on it. These generic branded pen is the best pen I've ever had. I don't need no goddamn G2s. Okay, let's get to inking. I think? Hmm. I think one month I want to do cards where I do like a brown outline. You ever see the enemies where they use like a different color instead of black to outline the characters? I think they look really interesting. Because um, in the remake of Fruits Basket, these brown outlines, and it made everything look softer and warmer. Okay, let's get to inking. Is the remake good? It's good. I would say basically skip season one because it's literally just a remake of the original Fruits Basket. But I think near the end of the season and then season two and three is because it finishes the whole arc of the show or the whole arc of the manga. Manga. So it looks pretty. So if you like watching anime that's pretty, I would say go for it. Like if you want to relive the story. Okay, this gray is a bit darker. It's more of a bluish gray, which is fine. I need to get new glasses. It's nice because there's like a glasses store really close by. But it's like, if I'm gonna get new glasses, I wanna get cute ones. Because like these, or you can't see them, put them out. They're, you know the half gold frames? They're Ray-Bans. <laughs> Expensive frames, but they're really cute. But they don't sell this frame anymore. So it's like, what do I do? I hate choosing new frames. Because I feel like your frames determine so much of your personality with people who don't necessarily know you right away. And I like the gold a lot because it gave like a certain air of like elegance. It seems so stressful. I mean, like, it's kind of fun trying on the glasses. But then in turn, it's, it's stressful, like, picking one. Picking frames I like took forever. I kind of want to go with the clear frames. I've always liked the look of clear frames, but I don't know if I could pull it off. Because the way like frames sit on my face is that they cover my eyebrows similar to like how your glasses are cool boo boo so like if i get clear frames you'd see my eyebrows through and i don't know if i like that look for me 
I think it's it looks better on you because like you have like lighter brows, but I have dark brows. So I don't know. I think I feel like it would look kind of weird. Wait, I just realized my model doesn't have glasses. <laughs> wait, 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 guys. How did nobody notice? How did nobody notice? You guys grill me for not wearing glasses in Animal Crossing, but you fail to realize that my model doesn't have glasses. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, do I really need glasses on here? You can't even see on the model. No, Borta. I thought something was off, but I didn't think about it. Yeah. Now that I've realized that, it's gonna bug me, huh? Do I need glasses? I don't think I do. Your model got LASIK? Exactly. Thank you for fixing the lore cokes. Thank you. <laughs> My mom wants to get LASIK. Put glasses on the desk? Ayo, that could work. Okay, back to work. I really like Cool Bubble's eye shape. Oh, wait, guys, guys, guys. Now that we have the Wii set up, what if I do a me making stream in January? I think January, we're gonna do Wii streams. I think that's gonna be the arc for January since there's no holiday. We'll do like a week or two or we just do Wii games. What do you guys think? Because, like, I don't want to do Wii streams where I have to, like, sit up and put it away. Because it's going to be annoying as fuck. Because it's in the living room. I don't have it in my room. I could move it to my room. Actually, I could. Do you have Mario Party? Probably. I can't remember. Okay, I've been talking and not working. Fire me. Because if I do a me making stream, then people could like send me pictures on Twitter. Me scare me so much, really? But they're like so cute. Because the men's hair options are horrid. True. You're right. They don't have good curly hair options. I agree. That was a struggle. Oh, you know something cute? My aunt, she usually sends our family, like, a Christmas box. But since we've moved, she's sending... Um, I like my sister and I a separate box and she called because <laughs> I have curly hair and my sister has straight hair so growing up my family would call me curly and my sister straighty <laughs> so she just texted us that she mailed out a package is there a me game for the switch so maybe I should play that version instead of the Wii. Oh shit, I fucked up that line. Neatopia? Oh, okay. 
Oh, I know what that game is. I saw it at the store. Because, like, sometimes I go to the mall and go to the GameStop and see if they have discounted games. Because that's how I got Sonic Colors and the Monkey Ball game. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. People, hey. <laughs> Isn't Stradie such a weird name? <laughs> Okay, I think I'll do the outline of the Care Bear and the creases in the sweater gray. That way they don't stand out too much. And then I'm also going to taper the lines. To see how I did a line, a dash, and then dots to make it less drastic. If someone called me a streety, I'd be laughing too much, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do the care bear. The care bear details aren't gonna be that good. I'll say it now. have like fat asses though and I was looking at the embroider was like holy I was like no wonder I loved them so much when I was little <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard what I said wait have you guys watched the monthly compilation I know I said before don't clip me saying like one-liners but I think Luigi clipped something that was like, guys, you need to clip me whenever I say something sus. And then the next clip was, I would do literally anything for $20. <laughs> I know that's like such a generic line. But oh my god, I was dying when I was like, because as I was watching all the clips from the month, because like when I watch them, I try to like piece them together in my head before I actually go to premiere and edit. And sure. And I was like, dude, I have I was like, cause I saw the sus sound bite first. I was like, dude, I need to I need to say something bad this month. And then I found the Mario Kart clip. I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. So guys, I know I grilled some of y'all for clipping just me saying like one liners or like three words, but do it now, do it. If you feel like it could lead into something else, go for it. Anyway, talking about leading into something else, so leading you guys on, guys. We are another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a hey, fuck. It's time for me to run a few minutes of ads, but you can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a, a <laughs> see if you have a Prime sub available. I'm mean, ever gonna keep working on this card, but we'll be live for another hour. So if you don't want to miss a single second. Subscribe, easy clap. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. You did it for the marker stream? Good job. I heckin' appreciate the people who clipped the stream. It's honestly such a big help. Back to work. Oh. 
Okay, the star's gonna look kind of wonky. Oh, no. Dude, that's so bad. Don't laugh. I fucked up. It's cute. You know what happened? I messed up the outline on that side and then I tried to overcompensate. Kobobo in shambles right now. It looks like fucking Patrick Star. Look at those little nub for legs. <laughs> Stop! Uh... Dude, it's so bad! It's so bad. I can't do anything though. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Thank you, Tanuki. There <laughs> Sorry, uh, there's no way for me to salvage this. This is what I- okay. So, last night I fell asleep at 12, and then I woke up at fucking 3. Cause I told you guys how I fell asleep with my headsets on. And I woke up, cause my fucking head was hurting. Uh, I think it'll look better while we'll colored in. Yeah, it's just the liner is gonna bug the shit out of me. You know, I love doing line art, because it looks clean and crisp. But times like right now, I fucking hate. I think it's because I don't like sketching, so I usually just go straight to line art. Without doing like a finalized sketch. You know when you see people do like art videos, they usually go in with like, um, color pencil. Then pencil and then line art. And so they can kind of like refine the line art with a different color. Which is a really good technique if you're learning how to do line art. It's really good. You know, no going back now. This border is gonna look cute as fuck, though. Okay. Cause see how the star is turning into the border? Ain't that cute? That's a pretty good line I did up top. It's kind of crooked there. It's a pretty good line. I just realized I have nothing Christmas themed. That's kind of how I am too. My parents, however, they'll go to Walmart and buy the Christmas or whatever holiday themed clothes like right after holiday ends. Like my dad, he bought like three St. Patrick's Day themed shirts and he wears them all year round. <laughs> Cause he's like, dude, it's a five dollar shirt. I low key just like seasonal stuff. That's kind of how I am too. But you know, that's fine. I think I like Christmas the most though. Cause it just seems like everybody's happy during Christmas. Okay, we are racing. I'm not gonna ink Kobobo's eyebrows because they're really light. 
We're just gonna go in with color. Dude, that star looks so bad. Guys, I'm gonna delete the art channel. This is just evidence that it should never happen again. I didn't... Talking about the art channel, if you're watching this channel and you like what I do and you like this certain stream where I do art and stuff, go follow the art channel, exclamation art in chat. It's peace and underscore art on Twitch. We, we're gonna do weekly art streams once again. Once I unpack all my art supplies, I promise. So probably this Friday we'll do an art stream. I would feel odd celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Isn't that holiday just meant to drink? Ain't that all we Americans do? Okay, now we can color. Oh. I just remembered I have gel pens. I can add glitter accents. I don't know if they'd really match. Max card. Do I have a white glitter? Okay, Kobobo's hair is like a golden rod, dirty blonde. So probably the number 30. How am I gonna do the tie-dye? I have to do color pencil. I feel like the pinching if they're not wearing green is like for little elementary school kids and it gives you a reason to like touch your crush. You know? Kids not do that? What? I feel like that's the cliche elementary school experience, right? I didn't even think I had a crush when I was that young. Huh. Imagine. I mean, cause like... I had crushes, but I feel like I only had the crushes cause that's what you were like quote unquote supposed to do, right? I didn't, like, actually like them. I only had, like, real crushes in probably, like, high school. Because that's when I feel like high school is the point in time in which you mature enough to where you can actually, like, learn about people. That's how I knew I was Gage. See, I kind of felt like I knew, but... Because, okay, not to self-report, but in, like, middle school and high school, I had, like, a girl crush and then a guy crush. You know. So that was fun. Because, like, when people would ask me, like, Oh, do you have a crush? I'd say the guy. But then in my head, I'd be like, Oh, well, I like that girl, too. <laughs> Kobobo's eyes are blue.
See, I don't think, like, I always quote-unquote knew. I think I experienced, like, liking both genders, right? But I didn't, like, know the name for it until, like, middle school when I started doing, like, when I was online more. <laughs> Elementary school went crazy. <laughs> I mean, things were simpler back then, huh? Much simpler. Okay, I think instead of doing, like, tie-dye, I'm gonna do... Let's, let's practice this real quick. Let's get the 82, the 80, yeah, probably just these two colors. So I think I'll like... Go like that, and do like a mock tie-dye, because I don't have my color pencils unpacked yet. Mmm, I get what you're saying, Mac. It's weird, because- okay, it's not weird, but for me, it was, like, tricky to understand what I was experiencing. Because, like, I feel like bisexuality isn't necessarily as showcased or talked about as much. Like, there's a very strict, like, binary on what attraction is quote-unquote meant to be. So, and I think at my core, I'm probably, like, um, shut! i sorry. Got a spike there. I'm probably like Pan, because you know, I gotta respect, you know, the envies and the transgender people. Like, I feel like. I feel like I still experience attraction to people who are outside the standard binary, but it's still something that. Okay, I don't want to say haven't experienced, because I've never had a GF either. But I feel like it's just easier to say bisexual in terms of like explaining it to people, you know what I mean? I'm glad the media is finally showing bisexuality more, yeah. Because, like... I remember... Like, I came out to my mom, right? And she's like, oh, well, aren't bisexual people cheaters? And it's like, okay, she's got a lot to learn. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna look. Well, we'll keep at it, though. It's gonna be interesting, to say the least. What? Yeah, it was kind of sad. But you know, that's what happens when with the older generation sometimes. They don't necessarily understand the weight of what they're saying or what they've been conditioned to say. You don't use they, them with them? Uh, I don't know. I usually use like they, them by default most of the time. Because thankfully, like, nobody's, like, too uppity about using, um, pronouns. Like, usually people don't, like, give a shit from the people that I've interacted with, thank god. I think it's only seen as an issue, quote-unquote, or if they can't respect it, if somebody's like, oh, well, I want to use they, them. That's the only time I've seen, like, a kind of, like, let's say negative reaction to it. Because, like, my point of view on pronouns and stuff, just because you don't necessarily understand it doesn't mean you don't... doesn't mean you can't be respectful towards that person. You know? Yes, you may accidentally use the wrong pronoun, but as long as you're making an effort, it's okay. Because I think the people who are, like, immediately combative towards using pronouns that are different, or like they, them, 
I think it's because they don't necessarily understand it. And I think it's partially they might be scared to it. It's hard to explain your reasoning. Yeah. It, it's just like... It's not that it's hard for me to talk about, it's just I don't want to be like disrespectful because I don't necessarily have lived experience because I'm not binary or I'm not non-binary, I'm not transgender, so it's not like I can only speak from anecdotes and talking with friends and stuff. But just because you don't have a lived experience I think it's still important to talk about things sometimes. I was getting kind of worried, but I think this looks kind of cool. It looks like water almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, obviously, if someone comes forward to me, like a friend or a co-worker, and they want to use different pronouns, that's totally fine. I can respect it. And I will try my best to use those pronouns, because another thing, people who are, like, adverse to using different pronouns, they don't necessarily understand the possible, like, trauma somebody has gone through concerning their pronouns or their identity. So if you can do one little thing to make their day a little bit better or validate their existence and their lived experiences, you know, why not do it? Looks really nice, thank you. I think once the border and the background get filled, it'll look more cohesive. It's so easy to do, I know. It's, it's genuinely not fucking hard. And like, <laughs> something funny, with my sister when she was younger, she would mess up pronouns. Like she would call like boys girls or she and she would call girls he or boys. Cause she, <laughs> it was a processing issue, okay? She's on the spectrum. <laughs> like she would just get them mixed up all the time. <laughs> and I remember the kids would not give a fuck. Cause like they're six, they don't care. They're still learning like English themselves. But I remember the parents, like, would get so mad. They'd be like, um, actually, he's a boy. I, I mean, like, the whole shit with, like, Republicans being like, oh, they're grooming, they're indoctrinating our children. Simply by reading a book. It's just like, no. It's not like sexuality or identity is inherently explicit. It's kind of like, if you can't talk about queer couples, then you should not be able to talk about hetero couples either. And like, you ever see the shirts that are like, oh, what are they? Oh, I can't, I'd have to, let me pull up an example, like on my phone. I'm not going to show it, but I, I know what I'm thinking about. Like, you ever see the... Like, how, like, the little boys' clothes where it's like, oh, I'm a lady killer, or Mr. Steal Your Girl, and it's like for a five or six year old shirt to wear. Is that not like sexualizing your kid? It's, I think you guys know what I'm talking about, right? My mom hates those shirts. I never liked them either, but it just seems weird. That those shirts are, like, acceptable. But not, like, talking about queer couples. Kind of weird. Okay, I need the number 31. 31 is a bit too orange. Let's go in with a 30. Oops. 
Dude, I hate this star. This star ruins it! I'm really mad. You guys don't understand, but I'm really mad. And especially when the kids don't pick them up. Exactly. It's just weird. Okay, the star had like a little crosshatched border on it from the reference I saw. Okay, I need to look at my blue care bear because I need to see what colors the the streak is. Okay, so it's like orange and then yellow. This is the number 31. It's probably good one with the 41. 41, 31, and then the 33. There we go. It's our gradient. I think another thing is going back to like pronouns or sexuality. Another reason why people can be like adverse to it is because they don't know what it's like. Like they haven't experienced it, so they, it's always going to be foreign or strange. I think it's important to be like understanding with people who aren't necessarily receptive immediately, because you know they have to learn. Like you have to tell them their story, because I think. Changing people's minds doesn't start them reading like reading an article like they have to hear your story Like if they hear that one of their friends or their family members is Weird I feel like they'd be more accepting of it Because like it's kind of hard I can I can understand it's hard to separate like your biases or bigotry from a person But if you already care about someone I hope it would be easier that, for them to change their mind. Okay, so we have the border down. The border looks really cute. I like how this star turns into the border. So now, I'm gonna do like little doodles in the background. Cause you know how the characters have like hearts and then stars. So let's do that. It's hard to understand if you don't have a personal experience, exactly. So I'm filling in with tiny hearts and stars along with circles to fill in the white space. Okay, the stars are starting to look more like flowers. <laughs> Awkward. I think it looks cute.
Hey guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So it's time for me to tell you to follow if you're new here. And if you are already following, make sure you have Glide notifications turned on because only 60% of you guys have them turned on. So click the bell, see if you have notifications turned on. That way you won't miss a single stream. I feel like that's the transition YouTubers do. Where they're like, oh, only 80% of you guys are subscribed. Dude, I hate that shit too. That's what I was like kind of scared of. Because I feel like newer homes would be targets for like burglaries and stuff. But you know, there's always somebody home with me. So I'm not as scared, but it's still like a concern I have. Because like since it's a duplex, there's like more people nearby. So... I assume the likelihood of, like, having somebody take something off your porch is more likely, but it's still, like, scary. Like, I try not to think about it too much, basically. Okay, that star looks so fucked. <laughs> that one is so bad. Oh, when they don't text back in time. I get anxious when somebody doesn't, like, text me back right away. But then I have to understand that, you know, they're probably doing other things. So I can't get too mad about it. Because, like, you know the... Let's say, like, a partner who gets too aggro if you don't reply right away? It's a red flag. You know, you can't be their one and only thing in their life. I remember, like, people would complain to be like, Oh, my boyfriend doesn't reply right away, but it's like, They're at work, honey! You think they're allowed to have their phone on them all day? Like, your whole life shouldn't revolve around your partner, you know what I mean? She doesn't work, so she's home all day. There's been a few times where my sister will get mad at me. <laughs> uh, cause she'd be like, Well, you're home all day. I'm like, yeah, but... Sometimes I'm streaming. You know, I can't necessarily... Answer a text right away all the time. Like, remember the last time? Or, this happened... A few weeks ago, but... I had to, like, leave for a minute and go unlock the door for my mom. Because she locked herself out. <laughs> um, like, I was getting calls from my mom and my dad. Like, in the span of three minutes, mind you. So, like, I didn't answer the phone for three minutes. And they're, like, losing their minds. Like, it was scary because... When she didn't have her key, she was, like, banging on the door. And I'm like, what the fuck? Because back where I used to live, there's, like, a lot of... Um, People who needed help, let's say. Because, um, uh, back where I, where my parents are, there's no DSH center, there's no, like, clinics where people who need help can go to. So that's why they just kind of, like, roam around. Like, there's nowhere for them to go. Like, the closest clinic is, like, a town away. 
And that's a problem. So anyway, um, I am of the perspective that people need help, right? And there should be resources in place, but they also have to be willing to take or get government assistance. Like, I don't think the government should be able to, like, involuntarily, like, incarcerate people or medically detain people. I think that is wrong. Anyway, so there's been a few nights where, like, people would knock on our doors, right? So I would never answer them. So she's, like, fucking banging on the door, right? So that's why I didn't fucking answer it. Anyway, I don't live there anymore, so it don't matter. But it's like, jeez. Because, like, I remember when I was answering the door, I told my mom, I was like, you know, I'm live. And I kept my mic on by accident, because I forgot to mute it. Because I knew she'd be, like, fucking screaming about me not answering the phone. I was like, Mom, I'm streaming. She's like, okay. <laughs> And then she just like immediately shut up. This is looking really cute. This is actually like super calming to like do these little doodles. Yeah, that's kind of how my sister is too, like, I mean, are they a younger or older sibling? <laughs> you know, what if they're doing a little bit of trolling? Ah, but I get it, it's, it's frustrating. Like, it's the uncertainty, I think, that is what more so bothers people, right? She's way older than you? Oh. Rip. Maybe she's just, like, clueless. Oh my god, okay. You know how I told you guys I haven't had a copy of the key for, like, a week and a half now, right? And my sister, she and our roommate have gone to Home Depot three times to go copy the key. And every time the key doesn't work. You know why it didn't fucking work? Because she was copying the wrong one. Because there's a gate and then a, a house door, right? So instead of copying the house door key, she was copying the metal gate key. And she's like, oh, why is it working? Because after the third time, I was like, sister, let me see the key. And she's like, okay. She's like, it's not working. I'm like, have you tried it on the other fucking door? Then I tried it on the gate door and it worked. <laughs> and it, it's kind of funny, right? It's kind of funny. But it's just like, you wasted like three 20 minute trips to the fucking store. You go to the customer service desk three times now and like, demand a refund saying like oh the key isn't working and she was saying like oh can we just return it and get a refund i'm like no fucking jackass like it's your mistake you are copying the wrong key it's not their machines it's just your fucking dumbass anyway three times yeah they're that fucking clueless anyway i didn't say those words to her face i'm just telling it for the story anyway because that's toxic I, I didn't say those words to her face i'm Embellishing for the story. But that's crazy, yeah. <laughs> so they're going to the store today. Probably. To finally get my goddamn key. Insanity, I know. Cause like it's just frustrating. It's frustrating. And the whole reason why she kept on using the wrong key is because you know how they have like blank silver keys and then they have like the printed ones? So the copies of the keys my sister had, she had two silver ones. So she she just mixed them up and I told her uh, when she got the keys, I was like, mark them. Like, fucking mark them. That way you know which is which. And she's like, okay, and then she didn't. <sighs> I 
I'm actually clueless. Did it cost a lot? No. It's just they had to make three trips to the store. And that's like a 20 minute trip. The gas money. Wasting her time, wasting my roommate's time for driving her there. Now you have more keys, I guess. I guess. Lots of keys. I mean, how do people lose keys, though? I've never... Wait. I have lost a single key before. Story time. So, I don't like key rings. I use a key ring now because of this story. But I used to just keep my keys loose in my wallet. I know, clueless. Don't do this shit. This was when I was in middle school, okay? This is when I was like DUM. So I would keep the keys loose in my wallet. And I was going to unlock the house door because at my house we have a, a, a house door and a gate. So I went to open the house door and I took the key out of my wallet. And then the gate key slipped out of the wallet. And I thought it'd be fine because on... We have a wooden deck at home, at my parents' house. So like, there's like a slot this big. So like, a quarter of an inch between the wood panels, right? So it landed like that. It landed like that in between the wood panels. And I was like, <gasps> saved, saved. And I went to pick it up like this, and then I nudged it, and then it fell between the cracks. And I was like, no, mom and dad are gonna kill me. But no, I was fine. <laughs> Cause like my dad has done that shit too. Cause my dad was like ready to like crawl under the deck and grab it. My mom was like, no, just get another copy. She's like, it's no big deal. Okay, I'm almost done. Almost done. Get ready to spam. I was here, guys. Get ready. dad is too he loses his wallet all the time he's able to find it usually but the last time like he lost and lost his wallet was like six months ago anyway guys i think this card might be done what do you guys think look at all those little hearts and stars cute what do you think oh what was it good is it bad be honest He doesn't use a wallet? Dude, your dad's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> what if you have a hole in your pocket? Looks great, thank you. Thank you, Tanuki. A plus? Okay, real question, which is better? <gasps> I think this one looks fun, but Max looks like elegant almost. It's cool. I like both of these. I think, I think this is one of my more favorite cards of Mac. Very nice. Very nice. Me, of course. <laughs> You've had to replace your debit card five times? Dude, you're crazy. I was losing my mind when I had to wait for my card to get replaced. Okay, you guys want to look at all the other cards we've done? Go through memory lane. Let's see. Let's organize these by who did who. Because we're stalling. We're, we're extending stream time, okay? Since today is short. We don't have a lot of content. Okay, we started these by person. I 
made a card for Scootish. Wow. I didn't post it anywhere. I just DM'd it to him. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at all the cards that I've made. We'll do another review at the end of the year. I'll put these into an actual book. Because, oh, once um, the art channel has a P.O. box, then I can mail the cards out to people. So let's see. First, I'll do one of cards first. We had Crystal. Dino Crystal in chat. I'll do all the one of ones. This one is for Deacon. Nyx. I think the hair on this one came out really good. Okay, and the rest are multiple. We had Coax. Coax is in chat. I think these both look really good. I think Coax's cards are like the strongest. <laughs> like these would be like example cards. We had... Oh, let's see. Can I zoom out a little? Oh, I can zoom out. Then we had Emmy Beef. This one is still my favorite of all time. We had Titans. It's nice, like, going through these and looking at them. Because, like, when I look or when I grab a drawing or something that I've done in the past, like, I remember doing it. We had Cobalbo. I think this is also a really good card, too. The framing on this one is, like, perfect. Also, the background is cute. Dude, I fucked up that first card so much. But this one's also cute. Then we have Mac. doing this for four months no way wait hold no way i have one more card for mac where is it i did not lose it i didn't lose it don't worry i will find it uh oh oh thank fucking god i had my cards in a sharpie box I didn't want them to get lost because I didn't have time to put them in sleeves. I feel like there's nothing there is. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're saved. Because I was like, Mac is the only one who's gotten a card every month. <laughs> the other... Yeah, I left it at your mom's house. I think Macs are fun because Mac le lets me go like a little bit crazy. I think these two are like the best, like honestly. This one looks like Mac. Because the other ones don't really look like them. But this one actually looks like you. Huh? Reminds you of the baby dialects? Yeah, it's kind of cute, isn't it? I think this one is very nice. Yeah, I think this one is also really good. I think these are my two strongest. This one looks whack. <laughs> okay, that's our review of the cards. Wait, I just realized I didn't erase the pencil lines for the chevron I did. Oopsie! Now it's done. Very nice. You hadn't seen last month's card? Oh, it's okay. I always post them on Twitter. So. Any VOD frogs you can also follow my Twitter too. Okay! We have gotten the straw looks like it should have buck. Wait, I forgot for Kobobo's star. I need to add like blush marks because I had like little. There we go. And you can't even see it because in the original, I had like little blushes. Okay, now it's done. Hey guys, we have gotten all that we need to do today. Let's do a quick overview for the VOD frogs. We 
over here. Oh no. We updated our follower journal for the month of November. I did not crease the page. <laughs> so we had four. Yeah, we had nine followers. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Oopsie. Like, the reason why my follower count stays the same is because I gain and then I lose. Sag. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So we updated our follower journal. <clears throat> and then we had our two portrait cards for the month of November. Once again, thank you to Kobobo and Matt for gifting five subs last night. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy your cards. I think... Call me egotistical, but I think I'm getting better every month. Because you know when you don't use supplies for so long and then you use them again, you gotta learn how to use them? This one looks really good. I really like this one. Sun goes down at around 4? Dude, that's crazy. It usually gets dark here at 4-ish, because, you know, daylight savings. So 4-ish is usually when... It's dark. Ah, oh, that looks so good. <clears throat> okay. You guys know what time it is. It's time for more calligraphy because we had a gifted sub today. I, I can't stop looking at this one. It's so good. I think it's because I like the color palette. The color palette is very simple. Not too busy. Okay. So, anybody who donates, subscribes, or cheers bits gets your name written at the end of stream. You can also use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. Why doesn't the campus have lights? That's kind of concerning. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> okay, let's do oil our names first. Whoa, that's really zoomed in. Also, anybody who gifts a sub during this month, I will... You can give me a present. See, it's a little paper present made from the old wallpapers. I'll hold Max gifted sub tomorrow on stream. That way you guys can actually see it be added. And I should have the Christmas tree up in my room tomorrow, so... Wowie. Let's change our title because we're farming. Okay, so I need blue, and then Luigi redeemed a rainbow today. You can get it.
Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, back when I was in high school, oh, we had Mac with one gifted. Once again, thank you for gifting to Luigi today. Um, back when I was in high school, I used to volunteer until 6 p.m. most every weeknight. And I would have to walk home in the dark. Maybe the scariest shit. I think what's even scarier is I remember... It was a few years ago. Um, there was a, a windstorm and it knocked out power for most of the town. And you couldn't see anything. Because I remember I still had to go to work because my workplace still had power. So I had to walk to work in the pitch black. And you don't realize how much light like street lights cast until they're gone. Have you guys seen the Twitch updates about shield mode? I remember I was talking about it, or talking about how I wanted to feature like it, because you know how people will enable like a button that basically enables like sub only mode or basically add stricter settings to your chat room. Um, but they had to do it through like a third party device, like their, their stream deck. But now that it's a Twitch integrated feature, I think that's really good. I personally feel like I don't need to use shield mode because basically all it really does is that with one click of a button, you could like do sub only mode, you can do email only chat, and you can customize and toggle whatever settings you want. But we're already in follower 10 minute mode. I can easily enable sub only mode if I need to. But what is interesting is that only the moderators and the streamer can see that you're in shield mode that is actually a really interesting feature so like you guys would still see for example if i enabled it we, you would still see the over and sub only mode but you wouldn't know that it's shield mode and another feature that has is that it'll automatically ban new first time chatters not ban but it'll restrict them from talking you can easily look through recent messages and ban people if needed. Or ban anybody who said certain word or phrase. So I think it's a really good feature. Because the reason why I'm bringing it up is the other day we had a bot come in the chat. And it was basically like, oh, go to this website for free followers. And it's interesting, because usually I can avoid those because I'm in follower 10 minute mode, but that means the bot waited 10 minutes, or the person waited 10 minutes. So, the proper action, you guys know, if anybody comes in, says something mean, or is a bot, just spam so it's no longer on the screen, okay? That is your job. Because I don't have moderators because I cannot afford to pay them. So, I'm... I monitor the chat room. So if I can't delete something right away, just spam until it's off the screen, okay? Which Mac did well at. <laughs> yes, PSA27, good job, Mac. I know it's very easy to wanna call them out, but don't, but don't. Green this time? Okay, let's do green. Thank you for redeeming, Tanuki. 
every time you watch the stream, you have to redeem, huh? <laughs> well, thank you. I love a challenge. What is this music? I don't like it. Thank you for redeeming Cold Bubble. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think you're just doing it so you can see me fail another time, but I'm not gonna fail ever again. I know the strat, I just have to write the letters super thin. I forgot how to spell nightmare. Don't judge me. There we go. Easy! You thought you could get me this time! Nice try. And now I need black. Okay, chatters, this is gonna be the last name for today. So if you want me to raise your name, all I gotta do is use your channel points or donate. Perfect. Thank you. I am pure, raw, sheer perfection. We got cold bubble. There you go. All done. Ta da. Okay, last call. I'm putting my pens away. Last call. Once again, I would like to thank everybody who watched today's stream. We caught up with our follow journal. We got our sketch cards done for the month of November. So, like I said earlier, if you want your own card made, all you gotta do is gift five subs to the channel by the end of the month. So, yeah. Um, let me look at a calendar real quick. Because, where's your glasses? I don't know. Up your ass. <laughs> Never mind, that's kind of gross. <laughs> okay. Because since Christmas is Sunday the 25th, because I have like eight holiday streams, right, planned? So, I think tomorrow we'll do Mario Kart because wave three of the DLC comes out tomorrow. Um, Thursday we'll do Galaxy. Friday we'll do Art. And then next week, because streams will be from 13th to the 16th. I think... Huh, I gotta, I gotta think. Because I want to start... Because, like, since I have eight streams, right, for holiday... I need to start them next week. Oh. Also, for the pre-recorded Naughty or Nice... I'm gonna do the recordings on Saturday the 17th and Sunday the 18th. So I'm gonna work on making a Google form and I'll have that ready by Friday. That way people can submit their information. I'll post it on Twitter. I'll post it on Twitter and I'll also plug it on stream. Or I should have it done by Thursday because Thursday will be the last stream of the week. Anyway. So everybody watching, follow my Twitter that we get updates about stream. So I'll have that form ready by Thursday. That way people can submit if they want to participate or not. Basically, we're going to record interviews offline with chatters. 
and I ask you questions if you're naughty or nice. And it's gonna be like for a stream gag. Um, there'll be more information in the form once it's public. Um, so yeah, plan for this week. Tomorrow, Mario Kart. Thursday, Galaxy. Friday, Art Stream. Sunday, Meg Esports. December, Mario Kart Tournament. We didn't do one for November. So if you won last month, you get to keep your badge. <laughs> Till Sunday. Um, on Sunday's tournament, I'm gonna post it on Twitter later today. It's gonna be 200cc Frantic Adams. So it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be crazy. Can I be both body and naughty and nice? Um, no. Chat's gonna vote if people were indecisive, okay? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to leak too much, but I, I got some good bits. I got some good gags planned. Um, so yeah. Look forward to a loaded new- fuck. <laughs> Look forward to loaded weeks of streams in the upcoming weeks, guys. Um, I think that's all I got for y'all. Thank you everybody who chatted, who watched. We had Mac with a gifted sub to the channel today. Thank you, Mac. I will be posting um, pictures of the cards on Twitter later today. And I'll work on getting that Google form for the offline interviews by Thursday. I can probably do it tonight if I really try. <laughs> okay, anyway. I will see you all tomorrow with Marika. I'm so excited for Way 3. Type 1 if you're excited. I'm excited. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Make sure, make sure before I go, everybody watches the new best of compilation. It's posted on TikTok, Twitter, IG. Watch it on TikTok. Because we need more traction there. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for the stream. Of course. Thank you for hanging out today. You were here like most stream. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for lurking today, huh? It's a pleasure. We better see you on Sunday, Tanuki. You better win. <laughs> we haven't seen you last month, so. Sad, no badge. Okay. I'm gonna end it here. Wait! Is anybody alive? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Nobody's live anyway. <laughs> Lamel. Yeah, we're doing it Sunday. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, we dropped to like zero bit rate. What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, we're doing it Sunday. I'll post on it for Twitter because like we couldn't do it last month. So we'll do it this Sunday. So since Christmas is the last Sunday, and then we're recording the second to last Sunday. So, I know. I promise everything will be back to normal in January. Okay, bye for real. <laughs>